You want revenge? Show me. Punching it at number 25 is Sifu. It was the perfect game to start the new year. Sifu's mechanically demanding combat isn't for those who just mash random buttons. Helping this guy out with his revenge story is no easy feat. Face an army of brawlers near and far, and let loose a barrage of bunches and kicks. A score of 8.39. 24th in our list is Resident Evil Village. Capcom's latest RE title is an amusement park of horrors. Village balances tense horror sequences with satisfying monster slaying. It may be the end for Ethan Winters, but this signals the beginning of Capcom's future in experimental horror. The DLC is coming soon, so stay tuned. Village gets a score of 8.40. 23rd place is Control Ultimate Edition. Remedy Entertainment's fresh IP doesn't dally around a character's writer's block. Control takes their signature gameplay even further, with fast-paced telekinetic abilities mixed with its SCP inspirations. This Ultimate Edition contains two of their story-focused DLCs into one collection, a score of 8.43. Coming in at number 22 is Oli Oli World. A fresh entry on this list, Roll17 skateboarding game isn't just for skateboarding enthusiasts. It's an accessible sequel that improves on their earlier entries to make a rewarding, casual skating experience, even if you suck. Plus, its surreal art style feels like watching an Adventure Time episode. A score of 8.47. Out at 21st is Astro's Playroom. This should be everyone's first game on their PlayStation 5s. Sony's robotic mascot is your gateway to the console's impressive new features. Haptic feedback? You got it. Adaptive triggers? Sure. Everything is showcased in this impressive tech demo that you could get for free. A score of 8.51. Swinging at the 20th place is Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. This is more than just an expansion. Insomniac's follow-up to their hit superhero video game isn't putting the spotlight on Peter Parker. Instead, it puts us in the shoes of the other Spider-Man, Miles Morales. New gameplay mechanics are introduced here as well as a slew of iconic villains from Stan Lee's universe. A score of 8.51. 19th in is Hitman 3. IO Interactive's stealth action game is their final Hitman game, but that doesn't mean it's over yet. Aside from the base game's laundry list of assassination contracts, this third entry is still supported by the devs, adding more DLCs and expansions with each new season. Looks like our clean-shaven Hitman isn't retiring just yet. Our 18th spot belongs to Death Stranding Director's Cut. Hideo Kojima's comfy deliveryman simulator is on a league of its own. It ignored all the foundations of the open-world genre and crafted its own identity, a strand game. Follow Sam Porter and his trusty BB in a quest to fix a broken world by becoming a futuristic FedEx man. Battle through tough terrain, fall off cliffs, and face off against alien creatures. A score of 8.56. Slashed up at 17 is Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. Another director's cut to grace Sony's flagship console. This director's cut doesn't only enhance the already impressive visuals of Sucker Punch's latest game, it also introduces a story expansion that takes place in Iki Island. Jin Sakai is still out for blood and he's looking better on your big screens. A score of 8.58. At 16th is the Neo Collection. Team Ninja's take on Souls-like paid off. Their unique mix of Japanese folklore, brutal difficulty, and satisfying sword combat made up the Neo experience. Changing stances and adapting to their myriad of bosses is its own kind of specialty. This collection includes the two Neo titles and their DLCs. A score of 8.59. Strifed up at 15th place is Final Fantasy VII Remake Inner Grade. Square Enix's revival of their best-selling Final Fantasy game gets a new-gen improvement. It's basically an upgraded version of the 2020 remake of Final Fantasy VII. Follow Cloud and his gang of eco-terrorists as they stop the evil company Shinra from taking over the world. Intergrade also adds a story expansion centered on Yuffie, everyone's favorite Wutai ninja. A score of 8.63. Before we forget, be sure to visit our website at whattoplay.com to check out the latest upcoming titles. Link in the description box below. 14th in is Returnal. House Marquee's AAA PlayStation exclusive is probably the world's most expensive roguelike. 
Returnal showcases the PS5's adaptive triggers, haptic feedback, and seamless loading times in a never-ending story about Selene's quest for redemption. A free DLC just came out, which adds even more replay value to this Eternal Nightmare. A score of 8.63. Here comes Daredevil at number 13 with Guilty Gear Strive. Fighting Game Icons Arc System Works' latest Guilty Gear game isn't holding back with their impressive 3D cel-shaded art style and responsive combat. Strive retains the familiar combat with Roman cancels and more, but with the addition of rollback, everything is even better now. The latest character testament adds a fabulous new presence to the arena. A score of 8.63. At 12th place is Tales of Arise. This latest Tales entry is their biggest yet. Rivaling Final Fantasy for the longest-running JRPG series, the Tales series kept up with the modern-day demands. Arise introduces a bigger world that you can explore for hours on end. It improves on its tried and tested real-time combat system. It receives a score of 8.67. A storm approaching at 11th with Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. Built for the new gen consoles, Capcom's character action game increases the momentum with Dante's long lost brother, Virgil, as a playable character. Apart from that, this special edition also comes with new modes that pushes the PS5 even further. It has a score of 8.69. Ranked 10th is Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection. Nathan Drake's adventure pioneered the evolution of Sony's PlayStation. This Legacy of Thieves collection includes the two blockbusters Uncharted 4 and Chloe Frazier's solo outing in The Lost Legacy. Both of these titles are remastered for your new-gen needs, perfect for those massive screens. A score of 8.69. At 9th, we have Gran Turismo 7. Fresh from the oven is Sony's premier racing franchise. Despite the recent backlash, Polyphony Digital's latest is still a strong entry for the series. Gran Turismo 7 never tries to reinvent the wheel, unintended, but they were definitely hard at work, improving the driving experience with new customizations, cartooning options, and a more immersive atmosphere. A score of 8.75. Coupled at 8 is It Takes Two. This award-winning co-op game from Yosef Ferries is all about teamwork. Be it with your friend, your significant other, or even your little sibling. It takes to will surprise you with the variety of its gameplay mechanics all throughout its lengthy campaign about fixing a broken marriage. You're never doing the same thing over and over, and there's always a new gimmick around every corner. A score of 8.77. Seventh in the ranking is Deathloop. Arcane's latest project twists the usual time travel narrative and integrates it to their never-ending gameplay. Enjoy Colt and Juliana's twisted little games at a vibrant first-person shooter that never ends. Each loop offers something new to your adventure. A score of 8.78. Rifting together at number 6 is Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. The latest sci-fi adventure from this ragtag duo is built for the PlayStation 5. Enjoy seamless loading times and explore nine planets in your quest to take down Dr. Nefarious. With its selection of ridiculous weapons and diverse worlds, it's the most impressive-looking 3D platformer out there with a score of 8.85. At fifth is Horizon Forbidden West. The latest of Aloy's exploits takes her to the West or San Francisco. Forbidden West is the latest Sony exclusive to push the limits of their console to new heights. The world is as gorgeous as ever, and the moment-to-moment -moment action never gets old. Watching Aloy face off against a horde of mechanical wildlife is a sight to behold. A score of 8.87. Fourth place is Disco Elysium The Final Cut. The definitive edition of Zom's narrative-driven game. With a fully voiced cast and more scenarios to discover, The Final Cut rounded out the RPG experience with more solid political paths. The branching narrative gives you hours upon hours of well-written storytelling, even when you're just messing around. A score of 9.04. Ranking at third is Demon's Souls. The OG Souls game that gave birth to a genre. Hidetaka Miyazaki's breakthrough title is remade to perfection by Bluepoint Studios. Optimized and exclusive to the PlayStation 5, travel through decrepit lands and slay the most vile of creatures in this epic action RPG. If you've played a Dark Souls game before, you know how it works. Bestowed second place is Hades. 
Gaming's king of roguelikes, Hades' well-written story and rewarding combat doesn't feel like a chore to play. Dying adds new flavor to Zagreus' adventure of exploring his relationship with his divine kin. The replay value is insanely high, encouraging everyone to experiment on the boons and weapons from the Greek pantheon. A score of 9.28. And the best PlayStation 5 game, according to critics, is none other than Elden Ring. It's only April and we already have a Game of the Year contender. From software's latest Souls-like game shifts to an open-world RPG, it's the Dark Souls game you once knew, made even better with a bigger map, tougher bosses, and more weapon types to lure you into hours and hours of fun. It earned perfect scores across the board and it's already considered by many as the best game FromSoft has ever made. With a score of 9.59, Elden Ring is a reminder that video games can elevate further with just the right push.